Welcome back. My name is Aaron Lanning, your favorite Realtor. Make sure you download our relocation guides, links below. Now I live in Menifee and I love Menifee, but today we are talking about Idlewild Pine Cove, which is another mountain community within an hour's drive of Menifee and Temecula. Let's go. Obviously, most of the homes I sell are not in the mountains, but Idlewild is the one mountain community I visit the most for clients or for just a relaxing day to get away and to take life at a slower pace. Most people know about Big Bear and I've done a video about that mountain community and you can check that video out here. Now, this area is an unincorporated area of Riverside County, so building codes and permits fall back to the county. So it's important as you look for homes that you find out if the initial building and or modifications were done to code. The specific house my clients like today, as I took some buyers there before we filmed in the area, was off of Crestview Drive. We'll probably be writing an offer on this one, but of course every house here is unique and different and it's so much more enjoyable to show homes or have a listing here because of the uniqueness of the homes. Now, having an actual garage like this house does have is a huge plus and the side garage was huge and if it wasn't for the hill, you could easily fit a smaller RV in the side garage. But the layout of this home was great from the kitchen to the family room and the deck just made it flow from inside all the way to the outside. And you do have a peekaboo view, but another huge plus here was the master bedroom was downstairs and the kids rooms were upstairs and my clients really liked how well liked the backyard how it was mostly flat now before you buy a home up here make sure you get an insurance quote as many big insurance companies are pulling out of california as a whole because of all the fires so home insurance is a little harder and more costly to get since home prices and materials have skyrocketed that's why insurance companies are pulling out and also this is a high fire severity zone so that can make insurance harder and more expensive as well. Now, the median age in this area is 53 years old and the median sales price for this area in 2021 was 555,000 in 2022, 567,000 and drum roll please. This year so far, 475,000. And if you find anything under 500,000, it'll probably need some work. Or they can go to Hannah High School off Stetson Avenue, which is about 35 minute drive one way. Now, full-time residents do get discounts. Jumping into utilities, there's three water companies here that help get water to all the residents. It's interesting that there are three water companies with such a small community of 2,900 people in 2020. But it is what it is. The utility water companies do solely rely on groundwater wells to get their water, which is quite different from most of California, which depends heavily on imported water from the Colorado River or Northern California via the State Water Project. The district covers 2,500 acres with 30 miles of water line and they service 1,600 water accounts. They supply 300 acre feet of finished water or 100 million gallons per year. They produce 6 million to 13 million gallons per month. Now, Foster Lake, when filled up, has 18 million gallons of raw water storage. Now, as far as the sewer goes, you are on septic unless you are on the 10 miles of sewer line and they service 578 sewer accounts. The sewer district capacity is 250,000 gallons per day and the plant treats 110 acre feet of wastewater per year or 36 million gallons. The treated water is pumped to percolation ponds which creates an oasis for wildlife. And as far as gas goes, gas is in your own propane tank. Now for electricity, make sure your hamster is working. Just kidding, you're on the grid. Now, Downtown is where it's at. Tons of entertainment, food, and shopping. We really enjoy the downtown a lot, from Dick's Dog's food truck to La Casita Mexican restaurant. Everything is just so delicious. We did get some frozen yogurt from Atomic Cow, which was super good, and there's lots of cool stuff at a piece of Idlewild. I would say though, my favorite shop was the awesome sock shop called Sock District, where I spent about 150 bucks. They have way more stuff than just socks. I bought a funny dish towel and some stickers for some clients. So if you do decide to visit, definitely Saturday is a good day as all the shops are open, but please always be respectful as this is the home to about 2,900 people. And the goal for me, no matter where I go, especially in nature, is to make it seem as if I was never there. And quick pro tip, if you're going up during the winter, check the live road cam on YouTube to see the condition of the roads up there. I will link to that YouTube channel below. Now there's also a lot of Facebook groups to help let visitors, tourists 
know the condition of the roads before you go. That's all I have for you folks. Please like and subscribe if this video helped you learn more about Menifee and or the surrounding area. Thank you.